exercise one of miscellaneous exercises, page one. Here we go. Now we're first going to take that riff over here, exercise one, and we're going to drop it into a, a very basic chord jam in the key of C major, A minor, which we've taken from House of the Rising Sun. I'm going to quickly put the back track on now put that riff inside this so you can hear it and then afterwards you will analyze it break it down and hopefully you can apply it to your own playing here we go So we first play through the riff like this as we're going to break down and then we use a bit of an improvise and they can hear the end phrase of that was part of the riff for example so you take parts of the riff after you learn them and then take it to your own playing like that now if I'm going to focus now on our picking a hand for starters we're going to see how cool we can get the middle finger working with the riff. Check this out over here. I'm going to fret number 7 as it is in the tab. I'm going to slide to 9. You can see the fretting hand working and now to focus on the picking hand. What we're doing over there after you pluck with the plectrum, got a slide. So it's one pick, slide from 7 to 9. Now watch him. He's sitting there on that second string and he's going to pluck it so your middle finger of your fretting hand up there is fretting fret 10 after the slide and you're picking it with the middle finger and then again we repeat that onto the first string so the whole riff and if you put both left and right hand into view here you can actually see the crossover a lot better here we go and then for the second bar same concept and the important thing is to get this middle finger working there because it comes in later for so it's a very nice technique to get him working it gives a different tone obviously the softness of the finger gives a different tone to the the harshness of a pick so it's nice for double stops nice for crossing strings very nice for and there for example I'm using the finger and the pick at the same time but back into the phrase I'm going to focus now more onto the fretting hand so you can just get to know the notes it's all in the key of C A minor so we're going to start from fret 7 first finger slide up to 9 there's that middle finger on the second string and then onto the first string that's your first bar second bar same concept just two frets down which we call a tone down now the next one's going to be slightly different it's not going to have a two fret slide but only a one fret slide and the reason for this is if we did a two fret slide from here that note's not in the key of C, it's B flat. It's not in the key of C, so you have to go from fret 4 to fret 5 to stay in the key. Now, also, as an exercise, we decided not to do the predictable like it's just dead, but actually skip a string this time and do the reverse of it. So this time, instead of going to the second and then the first, we went to the first and the second. Then repeated it. And we stopped on that note there because that's an F note which happened to coincide with the F chord in the song I used for the backtrack. So it's very important to know your chord tones, in other words the notes you are available to you in the chord being played. And to make sure your target note, the note you finish on, is part of the, the chord. There's F, there's my note, same note, and that's why I stopped on it. So slow motion if you want to play it with me.
two, three, four. Okay, don't fluff that note like I did. You got the idea. <laughs> okay, hope you enjoy the riff. I'm going to sit and just do a last minute jam with it for the fun of it. I'm going to go a bit more scales and I want you to notice also carefully the finger being used over here and also watch how when we go from a normal minor pentatonic for example into using the drift that's part of it that's part of what we just learned I can then also do the and do little double stops like that so we're going to get creative with it but Let's play further. Shred inside if you want to. So, I hope that you can recognize some of the phrases you just learned in exercise one as being used into the improv there. The scales we used are basically your A minor pentatonic. And the little fast part was the diatonic. But that's a study for another day. The purpose of this video is to get this working. And if you got that learning, got that under wraps, exercise one is tied up. Have an awesome day. We'll see you for exercise two shortly. Thank you.